Our top story, his murder has haunted his family for a decade. Ten years ago, ODU student Christopher Cummings was shot and killed in his apartment near campus. Now two of the four men accused of his murder appeared in court. A judge assigned attorneys to Javon Doyle and Richard Dooley today. And you may remember Cummings was the nephew of late congressman and civil rights activist Elijah Cummings. And Sparacco spoke with Chris Cummings' former roommate, who says he also was attacked. Two of the four men facing charges in this case appeared before a Norfolk judge in court today, bringing back memories for Chris Cummings' former roommate, Jake Carey. The home along West 42nd Street sits quietly 10 years after the death of ODU student Chris Cummings in his off-campus house. But now the memories of the June 2011 burglary turned deadly, a rushing back to his former roommate, Jake Carey, who was there the night of the murder. I, I think it's crazy that these people even try to break into someone's house to kill them. You know, some people just won't ever stop until they're put away. Court papers say detectives believe these men broke into and tried to steal from Cummings and Carey's house in 2011. The four are accused of shooting and killing Cummings as well as trying to kill Carey. Two of them, Javon Doyle and Rashad Dooley, faced a judge in court today. Kwame Edwards is in a Buckingham County prison on a different murder charge and Ahmad Watson is in Baltimore waiting to be sent to Norfolk. It's been an overwhelming but a lot of a relief to... Now, 10 years later, Carey says while he looks forward to getting closure, he knows the emotional scars will remain. I mean, it kind of brings it back to the beginning from when it all happened. Feeling just a little bit better now that I've been talking to a lot of friends and family about it. In Norfolk and Sparocco for 13 News Now. Kerry says he doesn't recognize the men's faces. He said it was hard to see them when the shooting happened. Edwards and Watson are expected to appear in court at a later date.